Edith reaches Hotel du Lac in a state of bewildered confusion at the turn of events in her life. After a secret and often lonely affair with a married man and an aborted marriage, she is banished by her friends. They advise her to go on probation so as to grow up, be a woman, and atone for her mistakes. Edith comes to the hotel swearing not to change. However, the hotel S. Silent Charms and her observations of the guests there all tug at Edith with questions about her identity, forcing her to examine who she is and what she has been. At the hotel, she observes people from different walks of life. Wealthy Mrs. Pussy and her daughter Jennifer. Their love for each other. And the splendid oblivious lives they live. May the Bonoy who lives at the hotel in solitary expulsion from her chateau, now inhabited by her son and his wife, and Monica, who came to the hotel exceeding to her husband, as demands to fix her eating disorder, and become fertile enough to bear him an heir. Edith falls for the ambiguous smile of Mr. Neville, a wealthy owner of a technology company, who asks for her hand in marriage. Neville is looking for a safe wife who will maintain his mansion as a home and social venue. Instead of running off with another man like his ex-wife, he offers to install her there and turn a blind eye to any lovers she might take. Edith considers a life of recognition that being married to Neville would confer upon her, but ultimately rejects the possibility of a relationship with him when she realizes he is an Encourageable womanizer. This also finally leads her to realize what her life is expected to be. Once again, she breaks chains and decides to take things into her own hands and leaves Hotel du Lac. Throughout the novel, Edith writes letters addressed to her lover, David, describing her companions. When about to accept Neville's proposal, she writes a final letter of farewell. Noting that is the last she will write, and the first she will actually send. But after seeing Neville emerge from the pussy's room in his dressing gown, she tears it up and sends a telegram to David consisting of one word. Returning.